here's a little app made in AppLab on Code.org. And there are three locks, and you have to answer three questions to unlock the app. So these are just things that make sense to our our building, but you can change them to whatever you want to. So the first one is room 124 is Mr. And uh, the answer here is Johnson. So you hit enter. It unlocks the first one and asks you the next question. What's for lunch? I need a question mark right here. The answer to this one is pizza. All right. Now what is 9 factorial divided by 7 factorial? The answer to that one is, well, first of all, let's get it wrong. 50. Nothing happens. When you type in the correct answer, you've unlocked all three, so now it tells you just to type solved to get to your end screen. All right, let me show you how this is made. Okay, first of all, uh, there are only two screens. So the screen one that has the question, uh, that has the ID of text label. We'll be using and changing that for all of our questions. Then you have uh, these three locks are, are named lock one, lock two, and lock three. And they're all just set to the same picture. And then you have one text input box. It's just called, I left mine as text underscore input one. And then screen two is just your, you solved the puzzle screen. You can add in any GIF you want to right there. I just really like this one. I use it a lot. All right, now to the code. Uh, at the very top, you'll do an on event whenever text input changes. So that's essentially whenever they type something in here and hit enter, or when they type something in here and they click out of the box. Either one, I think. And when they do, you'll make a variable called answer and set it to get the value of that. So whatever they type will become the answer. Then on line three here, you'll take that answer and change it to lowercase. That way, if they type uh, Johnson with a capital J, it still works, right? Then we just have a few if statements. So if the answer equals Johnson, then change the picture of the lock to the unlocked picture. Change the text question, the text label up here, and then set the input box right here to just empty quotation marks. That's how you delete the old answer. Um, this thing you can copy and paste and do it for your next question. Now notice, whatever you put right here in this text input, this is the question and the answer is what you're checking for right here. The same is true here. Here's the math problem. Here's the answer. And on the last one, uh, here's where you switch to the last screen. Now you can, my questions aren't very original. Uh, to make this your own, you just change this field and change the answer that you're looking for. And you'll do that three times. Now one thing you can do here is if you've done this before, you can actually type in a later answer and skip ahead, right? So it's not it's not made where you have to unlock all three, but if you don't know the questions, if you've never seen them before, uh, then it works. All right, have fun.